So I just went to the end of the road and you had to cross a little bridge over a thing called Muddy River. It's not really a muddy river now, but the reason they call it Muddy River is because it's where the mudslide from Mount St. Helens came down through. And 2,500 years ago, a lava flow came down through and it shaped it. And it's over here. And it's a good photography point of Mount St. Helens. So, uh... the start is a little steep next to a big cliff. So, we are walking the bike. Goes down a little steep there. There's a caution at the beginning of this trail, it's the Lava Canyon Trail. That says multiple fatalities in this region, in this area. Stay on trail, stay away from the river. Okie dokie. All right, let's not slip here, okay? The worst part so far is that I thought that this route this direction was going to be going up. Right now it's going down. That means I have a lot steeper to, to tackle. Certainly beautiful. Alright, be back in a bit. Okay. So, uh, I was going down that way, which is the most difficult listed on the trail. And it got really narrow. Uh, I had barely had room for my feet, let alone for the bike. And <clears throat> along a sheer cliff, we were 200 feet plus down. And, uh, you know, a cliff going up on the side. So it's, uh, I said no. Uh, I'm not doing that. It was going uphill. It was loose stone. I was like one slip and there goes the bike and uh, if I'm lucky and if I'm not lucky there goes me. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna hit the other side of the trail that I was gonna come down. What's up, crew? Hear the sound of the waterfall. As long as I don't fall for you. That was great. For you. Oh, whatever. I don't quit my day job. Well, I've been climbing for about uh, three miles. Ah. Oh, still there. There's been cougar sightings uh, on this trail. So uh, I'm glad I got the bear bell out, any bell, to alert the animals that I am here. Newfie rolling down the hill. Oh, this is so sweet. Too bad. I tell you, sometimes I feel like I'm in a Disney film. In the wild forest. The Lone Mountain Biker Descent. And eats flies as they fly into his mouth. So the south side of Mount St. Helens and up the east side is open. The trails are open to mountain bikers. But the west side, part way up, when you hit this uh, River, Lowit River, I believe it is. Your mountain bikers not allowed to cross that, and not allowed on the north side. So we're lucky though, because that's a lot of trails, a lot of territory that's open.
That'd be a wild descent. I knew I was going to be traversing ridge lines. <laughs> Woo! Beautiful. Caution, mountain bikers, narrow trail ahead, please dismount and walk your bike. Look at this thing. You don't want to fall down there? No boys, I don't want to fall down there, I tell ya. Oh. Hello, chipmunk. And it's a uh, pretty cool walk along uh, lava rocks. It's like I'm walking across a uh, barbecue. That's a handy post, no signage. There's two more here though. All right, now we gotta decide where we wanna go. All right, let's take a look at the map. I have a little break here. There's a spot with shade. Let's go grab some shade. Since my plans got changed because I skipped going down Lava Canyon Trail to hook up with uh, Smith Creek Trail, I decide it right now I'm at uh, I'm at Pumas Butte Butte I guess Pumas Butte this is the Plains of Abraham I... now I also realize I could have back here to La Har viewpoint and I can actually bike this road and connect here well, that's another possibility When you learn about the Pacific Rim and the Ring of Fire and all the volcanoes, you kind of like, yeah, okay, sure. And then you get here and you go, volcano, volcano, yeah, volcano. You go, shit, yeah, okay, I get it. <laughs> I think that's the ridge I rode to get up here. Don't look down. 1980, it blew up. It erupted, so I was six. I'll tell you, I was amazed by this. A volcano erupting in America. Crazy sauce. Some of this trail was crazy sauce. Did anybody order a rock garden? Friends of Abraham. Oh, I, I joked him, I said, please. Riding along the plains of Abraham. Beautiful blue sky. There's a nice wind. Just keeping the sun power down. We're gonna go that way. Let's 
go down to the visitor center. Beautiful. Let's put it on again. Okay, so I think I can see the little line over here. I'm going to ride up the road a bit and I'm going to drop down this ridge and I'm going to go down way down. You see this river down here? I'm going to be going along the side of that river. So I got a lot of distance to go down, but uh, we're going to drop quite a bit. All right. Let's do it. In the end, this ride was really epic. It's not the longest ride I've ever done, but 29 miles with four and a half, five miles of slogging uphill to get to the Plains of Abraham. Then a nice flat section before I do a big descent to then climb up to the visitor centers, which on the map had indicated they had water fountains, but in reality had no water fountains. And I got a loan of water from, uh, from some people who were there. So then my big descent down into uh, Smith, Smith River actually didn't talk much during the big descent because I was really just concentrating on trying to keep control of the bike and the loose uh, gravel. So the descent and Smith River is a black diamond and it, it lived up to its name. Um, I had one crash on that. but They've got markers through the woods <laughs> to indicate where to go because if you go that way, bye bye! Wow. This is a really cool flowy trail. Um, lots of switchbacks. But it's uh, so much fun coming down. This is so much, it's so worth riding. It's awesome. Thanks for riding with me today. If you enjoyed the video, please click subscribe below. Thanks, and until next time, keep on riding.